main event this evening features the most unique title in pro wrestling today. The Suicide Six Pack Championship has become synonymous with memories and great matches in BSC Pro's history. Tonight, you will see the very first champion crowned as the Suicide Six Pack match took place in September 2006, featuring Jane Champagne, Robert Roode, Chris Saban, Chris Daniels, Ash, and Don Paisal. Ash with the the boot to the throat, he's got a five count to break that. And now it looks like the two of them, Ash and James Champagne, have teamed up. Working well together, these two guys have been in BSE, uh, have known each other, have, have wrestled against one another and uh, with each other for, for quite some time. And yeah, you know that they're not going to be too anxious in letting some TNA superstar come and walk in and take them. Yeah, there you go. Trying to wear down the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. The crowd getting loud. Getting behind Daniels as he's slowly making his way back up to his feet. You are watching a Suicide Six Pack Championship main event match where tonight someone will be crowned champion for the first time in BSE history. As James Champagne now still trying to wear down Christopher Daniels. Yeah, and he's got such a powerful grip on Daniels' head right now. You know, I've seen him pick up a Toyota, so the, the pressure that he's got to be putting on Christopher Daniels' head Toyota. right now. Where do you get this stuff? I'm serious. I need to know. Where, where are you coming up with this? Look at the power of the guy. He's, he's, he's crushing Daniel's head. I... You need to stop. And Shane Payne now takes Daniel's back down to the mat. Still trying to wear him right out. And this is smart. This is smart. You wear down Daniel in, until at some point he can't even he can't even breathe. He can't even stand. And then he's right for the pick. One, two, three. New champion. James Champagne. Okay, so the pick tonight from Bob Kapoor, from the mouth of Bloodthirsty Bob Kapoor, is James Champagne. This is how you score, this is how you do it to win a match. So let's get your official word. You claim to be a, a Nostradamus of Who Who is going to win this match? Look at Chris Saban on the apron trying to get the crowd to rally. You know, I, I know that they're friends in that, Saban and Daniels, but, but I, I don't know if I'd be cheering on a competitor again. Yes. Daniels now with the elbow to the midsection trying to break out of this. And, oh, and don't even say it, Dave. I know you were going to say handful of hair. Not happen. Well, Look at Daniels. There is no handful of hair to grab Champagne, though. See? Takes him down. Look at this. Brings him back to the corner and tags in Ash once again. They have seemed to cut the ring off and a knee to the head. And it's smart. They're, they're isolating Daniels in that, in that, on their one corner that they've monopolized. Well, I think the one bigger point is that they've... Uh, Look at the cocky pin by Ash. <laughs> and that's the attitude. That's exactly the right attitude that a champion, a BSC champion, that we'd be proud to have him represent this company. There's my stand. Ash is your pick. Okay. The good thing that uh, Ash and James Champagne have been doing, as I was mentioning, is they've not only been able to cut off the ring for Chris Daniels, but that also leaves Chris Saban, Don Paisan, and Bobby Roode stuck on the outside, not able to do anything in the match. And Ash now rakes the eye with the knee and the boot. That's those straps on the boots, those, those uh, could be considered a foreign object. Foreign object, part of the equipment. That can happen. He kicks somebody, the same thing's going to happen. But look at that. Cutting off Chris Daniels again. And now just putting, just, just nailing it with close fists. Nailing him with right hands as Daniels tried to make the tag to Chris Saban. Ash now continues to wear down the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. He's like a Vegematic. He just slices and dice you. He, he's, he's, he's small but scrappy, wiry, and, and I've seen him uh, just put the hurt on people real bad. He's got a good attitude, a winning attitude, finally. And, and look, I think he's got uh, Daniels hurting real bad right now. Well, Daniels fading out. You see him trying to get the crowd behind him to keep him awake. When you're in one of those headlocks, it's at, uh, the blood flow to the head gets cut off, and you can't you can't breathe, you can't feel it, and the next thing you know, you can't hear anything. Daniels now fighting his way out of the corner. Elbows for Champagne's and right hands is for Ash. Look at this, turns it around now. Champagne holding on, and he moves out of the way. Daniels now with the clothesline takedown. And that was a desperation move by Daniels. He had to do that. He was getting punished, and he's got to make a tag. He's got to find someone in an open corner waiting. Saban, Don Paisan, and Bobby Roode have been on the outside for some time. They're, they're all three of them are fresh. Champagne waiting and looking for a tag from Ash. And the tag is made to Chris Saban. Daniels is out. Ash is in the wrong corner. He's got he's to make a tag to James Champagne. Look at this now. Saban with a, a ball of fire now as he comes out of the corner. Saban is on fire. I don't know. Again, he, oh, look he, at this. He, Ash. And Saban, he can get it right here. 
two count only. Shoulder into the midsection of Champagne. Saban in control. Drop to hold. Face full of Champagne. There's nobody in a building like that. Saban now. Here we go. Set him up. Tilt the world power bomb. This thing is over. One, Saban two. Win. Champagne breaks up the three count. And Bobby Roode now. Right hand to Champagne. He's finally getting his opportunity to take out the vanilla killer. Root off the ropes now. Both men go down. Champagne able to take Root down. Beautiful take down. Two. Not enough for a three count. We I, I, almost saw a new suicide six pack champion. I thought, Champagne. I, I thought Champagne had him down for sure. Takes Root up now. Lifts him up on the shoulders. Root escapes. German suplex release style lets him go. Now, the referees lost all control. This is just six guys fighting for the honor. Dave, uh, there's, I don't know, everything's been thrown. The rule book's been thrown out the window, and these guys, you can just feel them. A massive spine buster from Bobby Roode. This is over. One, two. Oh, so close. We almost had Bobby Roode as the suicide six pack I champion. I thought he was going to do it. I predicted at the beginning of the match. I thought he was going to beat Ash right there. And Ash, lucky to get a corner up or a shoulder up. You're insane. And he ties up Ash to a tree of woe. And here's Chris we've seen, Saban. We've seen this before. Roode holding him down. Whips. Oh, Roode, oh my God. I was expecting that hesitation drop kick and instead. Bobby Roode charged him in the corner of the tree of blow. And I the tell you. TNA superstar is working well together against the BSC Adrenaline Cup, two-time Adrenaline Cup champ, Ash. Saban kicked a 60-yard field goal right to the head of Ash, and Roode now slams down Ash, and where's he going? Uncharacteristic of Bobby Roode, but he's going sky high. Oh, Champagne now caught. cuts him off. James Champagne the, he knows exactly what's going on with everything in this match, and he caught Bobby Roode going up to the top, and he set up maybe for a superplex. Well, look at this, those two men, the biggest ones in the match, and Ash now looking to set up, and he's helping out James Champagne. Paisan now, and Saban. What is this? Oh, my God. Holy cow. We saw a suplex double power bomb move executed by Saban and Paisan. Bobby Roode took the brunt of that, and who, I think whoever 